Today we're gonna try out Sora, which is an OpenAI's text to video generator. I created this video using Sora and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. We're gonna be going in depth with the interface, how the interface looks and what are the different features of the interface, as well as we're gonna go and try out some presets that we have available right here. And we're gonna create our own custom presets as well. We're gonna try out the amazing storyboard feature as well as well as we're going to try the remix and recut features that I am totally in love with and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. So with that said, let's dive right into it and actually explore Sora and get this masterclass started. Hello and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Oho Shumriz and we're finally going to test out Sora and I'm going to go and explain each and every detail about this so this is going to be more like a master class so let's dive right into it and start with the interface so in the interface you can see that you have a recent tab where you get all the recent generation using sora that people out there have done and then there is the feature tab which is more like their for you page or the page where they have their featured generation then you have the likes tab where you get all the videos that you have liked in the old video tabs you get the videos that you have generated personally and the favorite tab is for your favorite videos uploads is for uploading videos and archive so this is the basic interface but one thing that i'm really happy about is this folder structure so you can organize your videos by creating folders and placing your videos inside these folders this is something that i really want inside chat gpt as well and other ai chat interfaces as well and this is not all you get a filter button where you can filter by prompts storyboards remixes blends and loops and you have this layout option where you can change the layout based on list or grid or the fill which is aspect ratio or square so if i go square it should look something like this so this is just the way how the videos are going to be presented on your ui nothing much and then you have your profile as usual you have the settings where you can change the theme and some journal settings as well as your plan and i'm using the chat gpt plus plan where you get a thousand credits and you can generate 720p videos and just so you know there is a 200 dollar plan which is the chat gpt pro plan where you get around 500 videos which is around 10,000 credits as well as unlimited relaxed videos and you can generate 1080p resolution with 20 second duration and five concurrent generations which means you can generate five videos at the same time this is really cool but for this video i'm just gonna go and stick with chat gpt plus because i'm not sure if 200 bucks is actually worth it so in this video we're gonna test it out we're gonna be covering each and every aspect of sora so that we know whether we should purchase this or we should stick with the 20 dollars a month plan so with that said let's jump to the reviews and i'm gonna show you some of the videos that i created and put them in my favorites folder so these are some videos that i created like this one here where a playful cat is chasing a laser pointer around a futuristic living room and i think the results are pretty good but let's go and view other videos and i created this animated showcase of a smartphone highlighting its sleek design and key features and i think this is pretty good if you want to generate videos for your product ads you don't need to go to any studio or have a camera and a setup you can just generate these kind of videos for your products of course, for your unique product, you're going to upload this picture. So we have that feature. As you can see, there's a small hiccup. We have 400% battery, which is not really good. So we can actually recut or remix this. But for now, let's go and view other videos. I also came up with this video, which is a dynamic 3D representation of a solar system. And to be honest, this is not perfect, but this was the best result I could get after a few generations for the same prompt. And by far, this one is one of my favorites. Although the pixels are not that good because we have this on a 480p resolution but otherwise the results are pretty good i also have another sample for this as you can see here so this is again a bustling marketplace and you can see there you go i mean it's not perfect but it's quite good then i had this video where this box is turned into a futuristic cityscape and i think this was quite good this is a 10 second long generation and it was quite good and the last video that i think is quite good is this knight standing on a cliff overlooking a vast battlefield at sunrise so you can see we have the battlefield here this is the night and the sky is giving the vibe for a sunrise and we have the sun's reflection on his face as well cool so these were some of my generations but there are plenty more that we're going to explore now so if you go and hover on any of the video you can just go and hover over it and you can play it as you can see i can rewind and i can forward by just hovering over it no clicks nothing 
just hovering. So this is a really cool feature for the preview. And here we have the prompt box where we're going to put our prompts and the parameters as well as we can add some images if we want to add. And you can choose any video from the library right here to put into it and actually tweak with it and regenerate. Then we have some presets which we're going to try right now. And we have the aspect ratios. There's 16 by 9 for a wide screen. 1 by 1 is for square and 9 by 16 is for vertical devices like this in a portrait view. Then we have the video resolution which is 480p, then there is 720 and then there is 1080p. But as you can see, there is a pointer that 1080p is going to be 8 times slower than 480p and 480p is the fastest. So I'm going to go with 480p for this video. Then we have the video duration which is 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds and 20 seconds. But in the $20 plan, we only get 5 seconds of max generation. And there is also a feature where you can choose the number of variations you want for your video. So it's going to generate two videos per prompt if I have two videos selected. We can go with one video and last but not least and one of the most powerful feature i think in sora is this storyboard and we're going to try this out later on as well so i think this is a really thorough explanation of the whole interface and each of the options so let's actually get into it and actually use some of the presets here so i'm going to choose one prompt and i'm going to try it with all of these presets and the prompt that i'm going to use is a monkey eating bananas there you go. For the aspect ratio, I'm going to go with this portrait view. And for the variations, there's going to be two variations. So I'm going to go with each and every preset. So I went on and used the same prompt for all of these presets. And I'm going to show you the results. So for the first generation, this video is without any preset, the regular one, which is the none preset here, as you can see. Then we have the balloon verb preset right here. So the generation is quite good, I think, but not that perfect. I don't know how he's peeling the banana here but everything is balloony so yeah the preset is working then we have the spot video preset here so i think the first generation is pretty good as you can see he's eating something but it's not perfect yet but the second generation is not that great because he's just repeating the same motion if you go for the archival one this is really looking like an archival video i like that the first video he's trying to eat something i'm not sure how and in the second video the same thing so it's not perfect generation but i think the presets are working really well then we have the film noir preset here which is working completely fine but there is no banana in this so i think this is way off anyways we're just testing out if the presets are working or not and the last preset that they have built in is this cardboard and paper cut preset as you can see this looks is made of paper and cardboard so yeah i think the presets are working but what if i tell you you can create your own preset and i did that i created this brick word preset and i'm going to try this out right now so i'm going to go with the same prompt but this time i'm going to choose the preset that i created which is brick world where everything is going to be made of bricks so let's go and hit enter and check out the results so there you go we got the results this is the brick world preset that i just created so i did not get the perfect result for my monkey eating banana prompt but I think the preset is at work as you can see everything is made up of bricks so yeah I think the preset is working completely fine so how did I create this preset for that you have to go here and you have to go to presets and manage and then you can copy any of these presets duplicated so the default presets you cannot edit them but you can click here to duplicate them just like this and then you can name your own preset which can be pretty much anything like this candy world there you go and then what you can do is you can just copy this this is the way how presets are defined so you have a theme a color a film stock lightning content transformation and there is a vibe so you just have to copy everything from here and here at ChatGPT, you can paste in that description this was the prompt that i used for bricks world but this time i'm going to use the prompt to create another preset which is for a candy world so i'm just going to go and say this out of candies there you go the candy world let's hit enter and hopefully you'll get the preset description there you go so we just created our own preset what you need to do is just copy everything back here at the duplicate preset for balloon world i can just go and paste this and i can name this candy world let's go and save that and there you go now if i click here on the presets i can see my candy world right here so let's go with the same prompt which is monkey eating bananas let's try this out so there you go we have the results and as you can see, this is a monkey eating banana, which is not clearly a perfect generation, but you can see the preset at work. Everything is made out of candy. As you can see, some candies on the floor, as well as the monkey is made up of candy like thing. I think you can get really amazing presets. So with that said, 
let's move to the next feature that I really want to test here. And this is one of my favorite features that is the storyboard. And the storyboard is just mind blowing. Like you can go and give it multiple prompts. So it should start with this. After one second, it should do this. Then it should do this. And at the end, it should be like this. So you can give it a whole storyline to follow. And it would do that, which is really mind blowing, at least for me. So I'm going to go and quickly add my prompts here. So I have all of my four prompts. And the idea behind this prompt is an adventure of a heroine who ventures in the forest to find a treasure that was marked on a map. So let's go and actually try to create this. And the expect ratio for this one is going to be 16 by 9 because I want it in a widescreen movie like thing let's go and hit create so there you go it is already added in the queue and we're gonna start generating this mystery of the shit map the results are out and i think the first generation is not that great because as you progress in the generation you can see that the girl vanishes inside the ground which is not really good and the second generation is more cinematic you can see the door opening then the girls moving in the forest and we have some dust particles on the map as well which is really cool and I mean, I get a whole vibe of a story being told in this generation. And I'm actually going to go and mark this as one of my favorites. And I want to have this inside my anime folder as well. And this is because I only have 5 seconds of video generation. If I have more seconds, I can add more prompts in the storyboard and create way better videos. So I really love this storyboard feature. So this was the walkthrough of how you can use a storyboard. But what if I told you that you can do even better? So if I click here... And I want to remix this video. I can just go and say, hey, I want to change something in this. So let's go and remix. And I want to change something through a prompt. Let's say I want to decrease the number of trees in the forest. So I'm going to go and say, decrease the number of trees in the forest. Just like that. And the next thing that you can do is you can check out whether you can have a strong remix. You want a mild remix or a subtle remix. This depends on the strength you want and you can even go with custom where you can choose from different remix strength like from 1 to 8 and strong is basically 7 so if you go with 8 it's going to be really really strong remix and it's going to strictly follow that prompt that you just created. So I'm just going to go and remix this and see if we can remove these trees and make them a bit thinner. So there you go we get the output we have way less trees but it messed up the whole video so I would highly suggest that you choose your remix strength very carefully. So this was how you can remix anything but you can even go and recut which is one of my favorite editing feature in Sora. So what you can do is you can click on recut here and you can cut any of the scenes that you want. So let's say I'm good with the forest part so I'm going to remove everything before forest right there and I can just go and add a prompt here to have it generate the first portion again. So this time I'm going to say a girl running through the forest stops and walks on the pathway amidst tall trees. So I think this should work. Let's go and create. So we have it added to the queue. There you go. So it's actually going to go and generate two new videos using this new prompt that I just added at the beginning. So this is more like the storyboard but we can add it already generated clips which is really amazing. So recut is one of my favorite features as well. And there you go you have the results. The girl is actually running and then she stops and walks but I would still say her walking posture is not that great. The generation is not that good but it actually added that running part really well and synchronized the ad with the end scene so it knows what the context is which is really mind-blowing. So recut is amazing. So with that said I think we have covered everything that Sora has to offer yet. Hopefully we'll be getting regular updates on Sora. This was a comprehensive guide of how you can use Sora and what features it has to offer. So my final thoughts about Sora. Sora is a really great video generator and it was a really great experience going through all these features how Sora can have different presets that we explored right here and we also went on and created our own preset which is these two as you can see and we went on with the storyboard feature, the remix feature as well as the recut feature which was really mind-blowing but if you're using Sora just for the sake of Sora and you just want to go with the $200 plan just to use Sora, then I think this is not worth it because it is not that perfect. The video generation is not up to the mark, although we have really cool and amazing features, but it is not that worth it that we should go and spend 200 bucks per month. But again, with the ChatGPT Pro plan, it's not just Sora. You get unlimited ChatGPT, there are different models like O1, and premium access to the custom GPT store. And if you're someone who's a heavy user of ChatGPT and you want to use Sora at the side, then I think you should go with this. 
but otherwise i think you should stick with the chat gpt plus plan if you don't have that much use for sora and you can just go with some other cheaper option for video generation for now at least because sora needs a lot to improve so we'll be looking at all the updates for sora from now on and we'll see how much it improves in the future if you found this video helpful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily update thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring